All right, everybody. <clears throat> I just uh, checked that out right there. Look at that. It looks so good. The other pieces are going to be done today. That's the only piece that was finished yesterday. Everything else came out fucked up, so I had to redo it. Um, so, PPF, paint protection film. This stuff's made by 3M. This is the good stuff. They have this other stuff, which is junk. It's like uh, packaging tape. It's just junk. Um, so I got the 3M. This stuff costs more. That stuff was like 10 bucks for 12 inch roll. This 12 inch roll, I think, was 50. I've used about half of it, if not more. Um, it's very nice, pliable, um, stretchy. It's very stretchy. It's like a PVC material. So I've applied it. I mean, it looks pretty good. I've applied it in sections because I tried doing a couple full size sheets down over here and it didn't work um i couldn't get it stretched enough around these um angles so i've got it all done all across here there's a joint here you can see you can't really tell when you're just standing back looking at it you actually really have to look at it to see the joints i overlapped them um in hopes that i would uh keep it from coming apart at the joints instead of trying to make them line up which would have been really difficult so i've got it wrapped down here all down here this whole face is wrapped i've wrapped all this back here up and around all the way to the back side and it's all wrapped i wrapped it around the reflector I just went over it and then cut around it um this whole thing here, this is all wrapped with the uh, paint protection film. So I've got a joint here at the very top. I didn't cut this piece quite long enough, unfortunately, but whatever. I just put a little six inch piece up there. I got a big 12 inch piece here. There's a couple little air bubbles in there. Hopefully they'll work out. Heating it up does not get the air bubbles out. Um, and I've got a 12 inch piece on this section here. There's no way unless you've done this a million times that you'd be able to get that one piece of film over this whole thing. It just would never happen. Like I said, I tried. Did the same thing on this side. Yeah, this is that crappy, this is the crappy PPF. It's like, it's like packaging tape. It rips like packaging tape. I did use a piece of that up here so that doesn't get sucked off with the pressure washer. So I got this whole thing wrapped. Uh, niece likes to climb up on the four-wheeler when she gets up on here she likes to do it herself so she'll on the old one she would step on the clutch box but this clutch box doesn't stick out as far so it's a little bit harder for her but uh the paint's scuffed over there from where she was climbing so that's why i did this because it would just be destroyed um she's only three so she has to you know climb up there like a squirrel like a like a monkey but this is all wrapped here all down there same thing with the front i gotta still do a piece here but i'm done far enough to tell you that it applies really nice and it looks good and a couple bubbles on this side too i just couldn't get them out and it you know you can only pull this stuff back so much before you can't pull it back anymore because your fingerprints get on it um but for spots where it won't lay flat after you apply it you know like in this corner here just heat it up with a heat gun and then just real easily press it in with your finger it uh molds right down um like i said if you're a professional doing this and they've done it a million times and you know how to do it i would just bring the four you know i considered paying someone to do this and just have them do the four-wheeler but i'm sure it's several hundred dollars for somebody to wrap it with clear um and the way this paint is, there's actually a chip right here. That's a chip. So you can hear it. That's a chip right there. So behind the shifter, I have no idea how that got there. <laughs> yeah, this is 20 miles on the machine. So we'll get a piece. I'll get a piece here. And same thing on the other side. I'm not sure what I'm doing with this stuff yet. 
you know, I don't want these to get sucked off with the pressure washer. Um, I thought about doing a piece over this. I took it off and put it on the bench, but all of these deep crevice joints here, it, I just feel like it's not going to work out very well at all. Even if I took my time, put a big piece over that, and worked it on, it's just going to be full of air bubbles. I just don't think it's plausible. So I might just clear coat this with a uh, spray clear so that those don't get ripped off. This year I can easily put a straight piece on because it's flat, so I'll probably do that. Um, but yeah, check out this, this uh, rack extender. This looks good. Like I said, the bumper is going to be the same color, front and back, and then the spider rack on the front, the tough rack, is uh, going to be the same color. Look, they dropped it. There's a couple dings on here already. A couple good dings on there. It's my brother. He's doing it at work. Um, but he dropped, like, all three pieces on the pavement. So he got a little scuff on there, but whatever. But yeah, doesn't that look freaking good? Other people are going to be powder coating their stuff orange now with their white machines. <laughs> Alright, everybody. Thanks for watching. Just wanted to let you know how the PPF worked and applied on this thing. And uh, I'll probably make an update video after I go out riding and we hit some branches and see how this stuff holds up. It's really going to suck if uh pressure washer sucks that off of there. It doesn't stick like it's supposed to, you know. I heated it all up after I applied it to make it adhere better. We'll see. A lot of time into this. I got about six hours into all this right now. Um, and then probably got two more hours to go on the last four pieces I got to put on. And then I'm going to spray that decal so that it'll seal that on there so that it can't come off. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching.